Hi, I'm Nawaz. I'm representing the Zoroastrian religion. We're here at the Parliament of World Religions in November. And this represents a guardian angel or spirit that's typically shown on caves above a king to give him divine guidance or spiritual guidance. So come on over. <laughs> so this diorama, this little set of statues depicts uh, a priest who's convert, uh, converting or initiating a little person, a boy or a girl, can have their naujo and become a Zoroastrian. At that point, they learn their prayers, their daily prayers, and then they'll uh, wear the sadra, which is our, our, our vest or undergarment. And it has a little symbolic pocket right there. That is a symbolic pocket for good deeds, because that's the only thing we can take with us. So the religion talks about good thoughts, good words, good deeds. That's what it asks us to do. It believes in one God, and that's the tenets. That's amazing. So you, I, w I heard a little bit about the Zoroastrian, and it's the first monotheistic religion? We think, yes. Yeah. We think it's the first monotheistic religion in the world. We're not quite sure because we actually can't date it. So we think it's about 3,000 years old, give or take a couple thousand years. <laughs> right. Each time there's excavations, we keep finding older and older artifacts that show that religion could be far older than that. And who is your prophet? Great, so come on over this way. So the prophet is Asho Zarathustra, the prophet Zarathustra. He didn't actually say he was a prophet. He said he was a teacher. Okay. All right. And um, he uh, traveled around in the mountains, was asking questions. And um, his poems are the foundation of the Avesta. And they're questions of God and his own dialogue. And that, that's the foundation of, of the religion. It's his poems or his uh, devotions, his questions. And that's how he came across a lot of the wisdom that he's put into this book. And uh, we follow it to this day. And the three main tenets, so what it, is that? The good? Right here, yep. To live a life of good thoughts, good words, and good deeds. And essentially, good deeds in that symbolic pocket in the, the sadra, which you know, Zoroastrians wear, right here. <laughs> All of us wear it. And we also have daily prayers to remind us of doing good thoughts, words, and deeds. And the daily prayers involve tying the kasti, which is a, a thread, and again, three times around for good thoughts, good words, and good deeds. And I heard something about uh, sacred fires. Is that you guys? Yeah, so we have uh, our prayers are typically around a fire, but we're not actually praying to the fire. You know, it's not like when uh, Christians have a cross in front of them, they're not actually praying to the cross. The cross is a symbol of something. So the fire for us is a symbol of purity, of divinity, of um, you know God's blessings, but so is water. So we do have prayers that have water involved in them. So is clean air, and it's a very eco-friendly religion because we don't believe in polluting anything. We want to protect. We are supposed to be stewards or conservators of nature. So that's very much uh, part of this ancient, very ancient faith. And um, well. When you, like your church, does that have something to do with the, the fire? Some was talking we, we about call them priest, fire temples, yeah. Fire temples, yes. Yeah, there's supposed to be three levels of, you know, consecration of fire, but they're really community centers. So there are 26 community centers, uh, Dari Mares, in North America, and we're about 100,000 worldwide. So 25,000 of us are in the in North American space, but 40,000, give or take, are in India, and the rest are all over the world. So. At one point in time, Persia was entirely Zoroastrian. It was a state religion of Persia. Hmm. And you know, the Persians and the Greeks had a lot of back and forth for centuries, right? So um, it is believed that at, in around the year 600, with the Arab invasions into Persia, a lot of genocide happened. A lot of the Zoroastrians converted and or were massacred. And some of them left and came to India. And we are the descendants of those that came to India. Small pockets of Zoroastrians are left in Iran, about 5,000. And we believe that the Kurds are returning to their religion of their ancestors, if they wish to do so. So we're not quite sure how many we are at this point in time. We may be about 100,000, we may be more than that. Wow, and so what is the uh, view on heaven and hell? Or the yeah. afterlife. So there is indeed uh, Amartat and Huartat. This concept is part of the theology where a person's good deeds essentially help them to achieve their reward in heaven. And there's no such place, but each person's heaven is going to be different. This is the idea of you know, justice for all. 
Um, there's also the concept of uh, peace on Earth. Um, that's, you know, while we're here, we're supposed to take care of the Earth and that eventually things will work out. So there's a lot of optimism in the religion. The, the idea is if you're flourishing, that's a good thing. We want everyone to flourish as long as you don't harm anyone else because that would be not a good deed. <laughs> so uh, doing well is, is, is uh, rewarded and it is, um, you know, it's a high value thing. People enjoy it. People appreciate it. They admire it. Right on. Okay. So is there, um, what would you want people to know about the Zoroastrian faith? So the Zoroastrian faith is essentially very simple. It doesn't ask a lot of you, but to live a life that you can really do the best uh, work for God. So there is an aspect of devotion to God, but by in order to do that, you have to serve mankind. So it's, it's really about living together very well and thinking through everything you do, not just for the good thoughts part of it, but you have to communicate that. You have to make sure and, and uh, you know bring people along, and that's the good words part. So it's really very simple, and it's a very action-oriented uh, religion. Okay, so the last question I'll ask is: there's over two hundred and two hundred and something different faiths here. Here are two twenty faiths here. Two twenty. Yeah. So yeah. what? Two twenty. Yeah. All present. Yeah. Yeah. So what would you recommend to find? Uh, from your faith to find peace and reconciliation to allow all people to believe and uh, pray and do their practice as they wish. So we're all the same. Essentially, we're all brothers. We're all the same. We are brothers and sisters. And, and Zoroastrianism does not, you know, claim one is better than the other or one there's one path. There are many languages. People can speak many languages, so we can certainly uh, have many religions and all get along. So in terms of reconciliation or, or you know, working together, uh, Zoroastrians have no issues with competition. We're very co cooperative and I think many religions have that idea of we are all one. So I think um, Zoroastrianism echoes the messages that you'll see all over this uh, place, all over this exhibit hall, which is we are one. Thank you very much for your time.